Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We have a special treat for you guys today. With me is Tony Hickson, co-founder and chief operating, operating officer of Hickson Zercher Capital Management and author of his newly released book, Retirement Stepping Stones, Finding Meaning, Live with Purpose, and Leave a Legacy. Today, Tony will be doing a short reading from his book. Tony, to start us off, can you please introduce yourself and your book to the audience, please? Certainly can. So, Kesley, thanks for having me today. Really appreciate it. It should be a fun time. Um, as you mentioned, author of Retirement Stepping Stones, been a financial advisor since uh, 2002 is when we created the firm. And about 10 years into um, being an advisor, a, a tragic experience occurred with my mom. And it really changed the way that I think and that I've continued to think about uh, approaching financial planning and and, um, and how retirees can better prepare for uh, the transition from their career into the retirement phase. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, if you just want to begin with the reading and um, let our audience know a little bit about why you chose the excerpt that you did, and we'll get started from there. Cool. All right. Well, here's the book and Retirement Stepping Stones. Um, it came from that came from a saying that's typically told to someone when they're encountering a tough time. And it's the, the saying is turn your stumbling blocks into stepping stones. And, uh, the, the tragic event that occurred in, in my life to my mom, um, could have really caused me to, uh, to stumble. And, uh, it was an extreme obstacle, but my goal over the past 10 years is to turn that into a stepping stone and allow that experience to help me, um, with my clients transition into a better retirement. So I guess the couple of the first passage or the first page I wanted to read for you kind of sets up that story as to that tragic event, that tragic day that occurred back in 2011. So starting on page one, uh, the chapter one entitled One Day in March. Gray, seemingly the only color of the rainbow. Winter's fury coming to an end. Spring not yet arrived. I'd driven this road for 12 years, back and forth from my office day after day. And this day, March 22nd, 2011, was different. This day, I specifically noticed how gray it actually was. I hadn't seen the sun in a long time. The grass was still dead. Trees had not yet bloomed. When would the change of seasons come? I was ready. 22 minutes is the average drive from my office to my house, from my house to my office. Assuming I hit the traffic lights just right, a man of routine, I walked in, grabbed the paper, and said good morning to Missy at the front desk. She kindly acknowledged my presence, and I headed to my desk to start my work day. I was perusing the front page of the local newspaper when my cell phone began to vibrate at the corner of my desk. And I typically don't take calls during the day. But at this particular moment, I decided to look up and see who might be calling me. It was dad. I answered the phone. Hey, dad. Tony. Something was wrong. That, that voice, that, that tone. I had never heard him pronounce my name with such intentionality, such fear, such devastation. Tony, she did it. She did what? I questioned. She took her life. Pam, mom, she committed suicide. I struggled to find the words. I'll be over soon, dad. Trembling, I closed the newspaper and my legs gave out as if I were a prize, prize fighter staggering from an uppercut. I sank to the floor and a stream of emotions overwhelmed me. Shock, denial, anger, guilt. My heart beat rapidly as if I had just run a race. Beads of sweat gathered on my forehead. Taking a deep breath, I collected myself. I got up, proceeded to my vehicle. I reached for the phone. I had to call my wife. I wanted to break. I wanted to be the one to break the news to Carrie. The gray that had permeated the sky now seemed to penetrate my heart. Um, our next 
passage or page I wanted to read to you comes from kind of the end of the um, introduction to the stepping stones that I identify. There are 10 stepping stones. So this selection comes from page 21 and uh, starting about the middle of the page. The truth is you've worked hard for your retirement. You deserve to enjoy it. Someday when I retire, I want to love every minute of it. You have every right to rest, to relax, travel, and check items off your bucket list. But when the initial excitement of retirement wears off, you also deserve to enjoy a purpose-filled life every day. You owe it to yourself to continue asking questions about whether you're fulfilled and whether you feel good as a retiree. Be open to the realization that goalposts can move. You may feel less fulfilled in year five of your retirement than you did in year one. And that's okay. You're allowed to pivot and explore new lifestyle options for yourself. The following chapters will go over how to build your unique purpose-based retirement plan. We'll cover activities, ways to match your skills and interests to a retirement lifestyle, and how to balance your lifestyle with your goals and your budget. Most importantly, we'll go over how to have ongoing conversations about retirement with yourself, your spouse or partner, and with your loved ones before you retire. I know that my mom would be proud if she knew her story could positively impact others. She was a giving person, and part of her legacy will be helping other retirees navigate the retirement transition and find joy in this new phase of their life. And then the last section I thought I would read comes from near the end of the book, the 10th stepping stone, which is um, leaving a legacy. Take time to think about um, page 151. Take time to think about what next steps you want to take to continue your legacy, even beyond your lifetime. This may have a financial component. For example, if you're passionate about impacting the lives of others through your chosen career as a teacher, you might look for ways to set up support for future generations or ed educators. This could translate into budgeting for a scholarship fund at your local college or university, or setting up a mentorship program in the school district where you taught. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Brainstorm several ideas that feel right to you. You can always pursue more than one path to build your legacy. If you're feeling overwhelmed, remember this. Your legacy can also be carried forward by the people you love. When I consider my mom's life, I see a strong woman who left a lasting legacy, whether she intended it or not. She may not have seen her impact before she passed away, but my family and friends and community and all I see and all, all of us, we see it today. In many ways, I view this book as part of her legacy. I know that as someone with a truly giving and nurturing heart, she would have wanted me to reach out to others and help them build a life and a retirement they love. She would have wanted her experience and story to help others see that retirement is more than just dollars and cents. It's about finding and pursuing your passion during a new chapter of life. Retirement planning means having your finances and your personal lifestyle both nailed down before taking the leap. Leaving a legacy is the ultimate way of achieving a fulfilling retirement and by extension, a fulfilling life. Wow. What'd you think? What a powerful reading. That was excellent. And Thanks. I'm so sorry about your mother, but I know she would be so proud of you for putting out this book. It's truly incredible. Everything that you've put together, especially um, dedicated to her. It was such a powerful excerpt. I was so engaged the whole time that it's going to be the next one on my reading list. <laughs> awesome. Good. That's good to hear. Um, I will say that, um, our firm really believes in the, in the message of this book. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for being a financial advisor, we, we focus so much on the numbers. Um, this really, this story really helped me help um, change perspective to help our clients focus on the non-financial side of retirement, which is finding meaning, living with purpose and leaving a legacy. And we believe in the message of this book so much that um, we're not going to financially profit in any way, shape or form from the sale of this book. In fact, proceeds from the sale of this book We'll go to a scholarship fund that I said my wife and I carry. We set up at the University of Finley here, a local university. Um, it's the Pam Hickson Memorial Nursing Scholarship Fund, and it goes to a um, 
a nursing student who exhibits good grades and financial need. So pro proceeds from the sale of this book will go for a really good cause. Wow, that is incredible. Just the whole message behind the book is so powerful, but also where the profits are going is just absolutely incredible. So hats off to you guys and the entire team um, for putting this together. And I love what you did, not only beyond, you know, the dollars and cents, but also finding the purpose behind, you know, the retirement as well. I think that's such a powerful message to include. Um, I think especially when people leave the workforce and they've been doing it for so long, they almost feel lost when they don't have that anymore. So kind of preparing for that shift in life is definitely going to be a big transition. It looks like the book is definitely preparing you for that as well. That is the exact goal of the book. There's a lot of financial books out there and they all have to do with, uh, you know, saving money and budgeting. Well, this one is different. It comes from a, a story that impacted me significantly, changed the way I give financial advice and helps retirees um, transition from success to significance. Uh, the book is available on any online, major online retailer, including Amazon. I invite you to go grab a copy, leave a positive review if you like it. Uh, check out my website, tonyhickson.com forward slash book. Um, there is a book uh, video trailer that's available on the web website. I invite you to check that out to kind of get the, the further backstory um, before purchasing it. And otherwise, I really hope that your audience and that the readers enjoy what we put together for you today. Awesome. Thank you, Tony, for that excellent reading. The link to purchase Retirement Stepping Stones will be linked in the episode notes and it will be linked on our Instagram story. So make sure you check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you next time. Thanks, Kessley. Kes